Now, Donald Trump is in court today in the States after alleged, uh, sorry, over alleged hush money payments made to the porn star Stormy Daniels. This, of course, all dates back to his first bid at becoming president, successful at that time, in 2016. It's the first time a former US president has ever faced a criminal trial. And it's likely to be the only one of the four sets of charges against him uh, that is likely to come before the November the 5th presidential election day. Well, joining me now to discuss this, columnist at the New York Post, Adam Coleman. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks, Thanks for, for joining me. us. Um, this is, is this historic. I mean, the people overuse that word, but it is extraordinary that we are going to see a man who's been president about something that he did allegedly in a bid to become president in 2016, still bidding to be president now on the polls, could well be uh, in a few months' time the next US president, facing a criminal trial. This is very different from the other trials he's facing, which, which aren't criminal and also are not going to come re realistically before the election date. Correct. Uh, the, the thing that makes this a little bit different is that there is a possibility, from my understanding, that he could face some sort of jail time. But it sounds like that's a very high bar for this type of um, this type of charge that they're, they're levying against him for falsifying documents. Uh, but yes, this is absolutely unprecedented. Um, and it seems very much so like a coordinated effort to go after, uh, you know, the former president who's trying to become the president once again. Yes, I do wonder if any of these charges would have been brought if he hadn't run again. Doesn't mean, though, that these aren't charges he should have faced. If he was just an ordinary person, not a, a former US president, he, he, he would perhaps have faced these charges. Now, the exact indictment is he's accused of falsifying his business records to disguise a hush money payment made to Stormy Daniels, a former adult film star, we're told, porn star, uh, shortly before the election. One of the key witnesses against him is going to be his former fixer and lawyer, Michael Cohen. Uh, he claims that he was directed to pay her $130,000 in exchange for her silence about what she claims was an alleged affair with Donald Trump. Um, and um, prosecutors have described this as an attempt to unlawfully influence the 2016 election. So this isn't just sort of a technicality, um, a complicated one. There is also the trouble for Donald Trump is there's, you know, it's quite a lurid story. You've got a porn star involved. You've got the allegations of an affair, which he's always denied, rather, I think, in an unlikely fashion for most of us who are sentient. Um, but but you've got, you've, there's enough here, hush money, phrases like that, that make sense. This is a dance site easier to understand than, say, for instance, our, you know, Angela Rayner council house affair over here. This is juicy. People can understand it. Stormy Daniels is now a household name in America. Um, what do you think his chances are of, of, well, being found not guilty and walking away from this before the election? Honestly, um, I don't think it's a matter of him not being found not guilty. Uh, I think there are enough people who are giving testimony. Um, there are some questions about Michael Cohen's credibility. Yeah. Um, even in his, in his trial, you know, he lied multiple times. Um, so some could poke holes at his credibility and, and, and his stories. And he's clearly out uh, to go against Trump because Trump didn't back him years ago. So, you know, there, there are holes to be poked in within his story. Um, but I think the possibility of him being found guilty is likely. Yeah. It's just a matter of what kind of penalty would he be facing. But I, I do think that this effort is really to um, not necessarily keep him from running for office, but to slow him down. Because now he has to go to court, yeah. I believe, four days a week. And he has to spend more money on top of his other court cases yeah. to fight uh, yeah. against these charges. So he's not out campaigning, doing those rallies so much, but but also, of course, um, you know, he has got all those other cases pending as well. But as we've seen, every time he appears in court on one of these charges, his popularity seems to go up. His fans send in even more money to his campaign and his legal fighting fund. And although he's not as rich a man as he's always, always claimed to be, he's actually a failed businessman in many ways, he's still rich enough to fight a trial. Um, is this going mm -hmm. to have the exact opposite effect? So all these sort of Democrats and you know, well, Republicans who hate Trump are going, yeah, if he does get convicted of this, brilliant, he can't run for president. We know he can, lead, under the Constitution, he can run for president from jail if necessary, and nothing seems to dent his popularity. Well, see, that's the thing. What, these cases, they harden the people who already support him, yeah. and they harden the people who don't support him. But what ends up happening is the people who are in the middle are softening on Donald Trump. 
Um, uh, Reuters polling just recently came out talking about independents. About 50% of them, or I believe it was rated as half of them, would not vote for him if he was charged with a felony. So it could it could you know, be a game changer for the election. Well, it's going to be fascinating absolutely. to watch. Uh, Adam Coleman, columnist at the New York Post, thank you so much for joining us. Very quick word to Sam Armstrong. This will help or hinder him? Well, as ever, I say we've got one charged criminal running, um, the other one that seems totally senile. Is yeah. this really the best that the great is, is this the best you've got with? to be the leader of the free world? I said that pitiful. last time around and the time before. And we're that. going to be saying it again and again all the way to November the 5th. Yes. Sam Armstrong, thank you so much for joining us. It's been great having you here.